Okay, everyone, it's been a, a couple weeks since I've done a haul. It's actually kind of, without any major like show or event, it's been hard to, uh, to, to hit the LCSs and come up with any quantity to kind of put like a 10 minute video together. But I think I got enough to put a 10 minute video together. And we're starting with the best book I got. Uh, this is probably one of the best books I've gotten in a long time. Um, the story behind this one is where, where I've talked about before, where I, I work at a, at, a, at a comic book store during my free time and I, I help price stuff, I help organize stuff, I do, I do stuff there, and they pay me in store credit. So I have been saving up for a couple books. I got, I got three books that was probably about where I was saving up my hours, um, probably since January and we're already in March. So, you know, four hours this week, 10 hours this week, six hours this week. You know, it's kind of one of those things where I can come in and just hang out and have fun and see my friend. Um, so I've put, I, so the next three books, this is what I got. It is about 50 hours of work since January um, that I put in. So this is, this cost me 50 hours of my time. <laughs> um, so, but, but to me, it's, it's, it's fun. I enjoy it so I can hang out with my friend and play with comics. So that's kind of what, what, what I did at the store here. And of course, I'm saving up for something exciting. This definitely follows exciting um, stuff after 50 hours of work. Um, it's a really nice grade. I mean, it's not perfect. Um, and like I say, by no means am I a great grader, but, um, you know, it's, it's got a couple dings on the side, but it's, it's really nice copy. Um, so, uh, Dr. Strange 169, this is the first self-titled comic book with Dr. Strange. Um, it's, it's definitely a key. It's definitely something I've always wanted. Um, but never wanted to pay, you know, the 500 plus dollars it is to get this book. Um, but after working, working and, and, and saving and waiting for a good book to show up to, to do, um, I did. So super happy to get this great book into my collection. Um, another, the other book that was part of my 50 hours of working, um, Fantastic 472. This is obviously you can look at it. It's got the spine dings and stuff, but it's uh, for the most part it's a it's a mid to low grade copy. Um, can't go wrong with it. It's it's still nice to own. Um, I probably in this condition it probably would retail around a hundred dollars, um, but uh, but it's still it's it's a it's a nice book. So I got it. <laughs> Actually, I got this one. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a magazine size. I got Warrior. It's the first appearance of Ethan Verdetta and the first appearance of Miracle Man. Um, I think he was still going by Marvel Man at this at this time before he got in. They got in trouble. Um, actually, it's kind of funny with the store. You know how they've been around for for years, and um, you know we're we're going through the back. We're trying to organize stuff. We're trying to to get things taken care of and. It had a sticker on it from 2009. So this was, and the guy said, hey, no one bought this book in 2009. That's why I brought it back here and then I forgot about it. Um, it had a $15 sticker. So it was for sale at the store in 2009 <laughs> for $15 and no one bought it. It's definitely, it's got dings and it's definitely not a, um, a super high grade, but it's still for the most part presents well. And it's a, it's a nice, it's a, it's a copy that I'm happy. Probably in this condition, it's probably would go today, today's market between 200 maybe. Um, so it's, it's still kind of cool to have. So I'm super happy to uh, get this one into, I wish I bought it in 2009, but uh, super happy to uh, add this one to the collection. So those were the three big books I got from, from putting time in. Here is, here are the books I got from just uh, checking around, looking around, adding to want lists, just trying to find anything halfway decent. Um, this was $3, so there's there's no big books here. This was $3, Incredible Hook 401. My understanding and the why I added to my list, uh, just trying to find anything, like I like to hunt. This is the Cameo Parents of Mastro. So, okay, I thought that was cool. Speaking cameo appearance on the last page, you see a U.S. agent 
uh, for the first time. Okay, cool, three dollars. And you know, Moon Knight's becoming a thing. It's a beautiful cover, uh, three dollars. Okay, fine, I'll get it. Um, I've talked about how I've kind of gotten into collecting the uh, MCU uh, Marvel prelude books. Found one and two for cover price of Doctor Strange. Definitely would get that. Um, this was $4. Uh, super happy to find this one in a back issue. It's the first battle between Shuri as Black Panther and Namor. You know, it's, it's kind of become a thing. Buying it for $4 is definitely um, a good buy. Um, these were $3, so they were a below cover. Just a Gwynpool. Okay, cool. And this was $3, too. It was below cover as well. Um, it's a second printing. Gwynpool number two second printing. Uh, I actually try to look up this one up on eBay to see what it's going for, and there's none posted and none have been sold recently, so um, it might be a hard book to find. Uh, this was th uh, $3 as well, so, um, you know, just a cool Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel uh, 31, the Asian Voices variant, so, okay, cool. Uh, this one I found $4. I was like, oh, a Moon Knight number one, even though it's like series number, like volume three or something. But it's still it's still cool um, for that price. It was definitely good to get. Uh, here is an eBay purchase. I want to say it was between $15 and $20 ship taxes, everything to me. Um, it's just a variant, a Kilowog on the cover. It, I thought that was a good price. I think Kilowog has potential. He doesn't have many keys outside of his first appearance. So then you look for cool variants. That's a cool variant to me uh, for under $20 to get it shipped to me. Um, Brightest Day Green Lantern Emerald Warriors number four. It's great for the collection. I'll add that. Um, this was, I, I want to say it was $10. Uh, that's cover price. So it's kind of, it was kind of an expensive book. But, uh, you know, you have uh, a Batwoman Beyond Appearance or Tim. Um, oh my gosh. Now I can't think of. Batman Beyond's name, but his daughter is in here. You have um, um, like a, a future state flash. It's just some first appearances. You never know what could happen. I just saw it. I was like, okay, fine. Um, you know, this is a Batgirl I've kind of been after for a little bit. It was $3. I was like, okay, fine. It looks halfway decent. And this is a newer book, but I found it in a dollar bin. You know, you got the Spider-Man homage, uh, Batman number 118. Uh, might as well get it. I think they just had some left over at the store, and they're like, we'll just put in the dollar bin and get rid of it. Um, let's see here. Found a nice a Pepe Le Pou cover. Uh, it was, uh, it's a newsstand, which I don't know if that helps it or not, um, but Pepe Le Pou, newsstand, is a dollar. I get it. Um, <laughs> finally, <laughs> I've, I, I have been looking for the Archies ever since uh, Cade Bain became a thing. Uh, you got the Cade Vane, uh, I don't know, cut out insert inside of it. So, okay, fine. Why not? Um, get it. It was a dollar. I'll get it. Um, I don't like usually show new books, but you know, these were cover price. That one I think might've been seven or $8, but the other two were cover price. Just a Captain Carter first appearance, you know, when she's called Captain Carter. I don't know. It's, it's a new book. Um, I don't know. I thought it was cool. I might as well get it. So I got those. Um, Superior Iron Man variant. Uh, it was in a dollar bin. I couldn't say no. Superior Iron Man, the thing. Yeah, it was in a dollar bin. This was cover price. It's a newer book too. Just the second printing I got. Uh, this was cover price. So this was like four bucks. Uh, Miss Marvel 25, the headshot variant. Okay, I'll get it. It's cover. I, I, you know, I just, I don't know. I think I was just in the buying mood. You know, you're just trying to find stuff to buy sometimes where you don't waste a trip. I was like, okay, I'll get that one. Um, this was a dollar. I think it's got a Thunderbolt appearance that might predate the first appearance. I, I, you know, I've, I've looked in it. I really can't find it, but it's probably in there somewhere. I don't know. I thought it was cool. I found out about that recently. It was a dollar. Uh, this was a dollar, just a J. Scott Campbell cover. Um, this I got uh, when it came out. That's another new book. Um, it's uh, second printing of Black Panther 3. Uh, this one was an eBay purchase. I want to say it's the movie covers. It's the second Mighty Thor number one. It's a movie cover variant. I, I really like collecting the MCU photo variant covers. Um, I've been looking for at this one for a while. Um, I was like, yeah, why not? It was twenty five dollars, so it's it's not a cheap book. It's about probably what it goes for and what it would cost you. But 
um, when you're a collector and you see stuff that you want and you're like, oh, I, 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 I'll make it happen, I'll get it. So I got that one. I want to say that was like $5. Now I have the set now, but my number three for this Transformer of the Movies is, is pretty beat up. So I, I got to upgrade my number three to have a, a Transformer of the Movie set that I'm happy with. Um, I think I just came across this one on eBay and it was shipped to me and everything. It was like $8. So I was like, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty affordable for this book. $8, uh, X-23, uh, Women of Marvel, uh, I'll get it. So that's kind of what I've been up to to enhance my collection. And I got a few books that I, that I got that were just affordable and I found cheap. So I got it. I want to say this was uh, $3 in one of the back issue bins. Can't go wrong with West Coast Avengers number 94. I want to say this was in a dollar bin. I, I can't say no to Web of Spider-Man 97 or 99 when I see them in a dollar bin. I got to get them. Um, this was in a dollar bin. Okay, I always like putting those, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, Fatal Attraction sets together. I don't know, it was a dollar. I was like, okay, I'll get it. Dollar. I, it's, I don't know. I, 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 I find these all the time, but I see them for a dollar. I, sometimes I can't help it. Surprised to see this in a dollar bin. Super happy to find this. It's got like a, a major X, uh, cameo, uh, that predates his first appearance. Okay. And the last book I'm showing you, I want to say this was $2, but it, it doesn't go for much. Um, but I was like, eh, why not? I'll get an extra one. I know I already have it. This is the Terminator number 12, first appearance of John Connor. So that's what I've been up to. These are the books I've bought the last couple of weeks. Um, I know it's a much shorter video from last time, but I figured I like to keep things going. I can file these away now, and um, hopefully we'll see how long it takes me to make another video because it's it's been it's been challenging um, just to go to the stores and, and find enough um, here and there. But I'm sure I'll get something together soon. I'm always looking. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, and um, I'll see you next time.